Hi it's Martin here at GSA Golf in Naples, Florida. This video demonstrates the Vistrack camera's ability to measure ball spin. Note that unless using the Vistrack high resolution camera with an IR Xeon flash, ball markers of some sort are required to be present on the ball. These can either be a bold ball logo or line, or pre-printed balls featuring spherical ball spin dots. The method of ball spin detection depends on the camera setup. All seating mounting camera systems like the Vistra Eagle and SCX view the ball from above, while LX, KX and EVI systems that feature a floor mounted camera view the ball from the side. This first part of the video demonstrates how the floor side mounted camera detects the ball's logo or the line. Using this method, a full 360 degrees of rotation can be detected and the result is very accurate. Spin rate is calculated using the amount of rotation measured between two frames and the time taken between the two frames. Regarding side spin detection, the camera has to view the ball from overhead which, when using the ball logo, is not possible as the logo will disappear out of the view of the overhead camera. Side spin in this case is calculated from the relative club face angle compared to the club swing path. The main problem when using the ball logo or line to measure ball spin is that the ball has to be placed on the hitting mat with the logo facing the camera. The solution to this problem is to use spin dot balls that feature markings all around the ball. The method itself is the same as when using a ball with a logo marking on it i.e. we detect the amount of rotation within two frames, just that the markings in this case can be seen from the cameras in all directions. Of all the visible dots in the ball image, only two are required to measure rotation angles. Also, side spin can be measured from the overhead camera. So, this part of the video shows how the SCX and Eagle overhead camera systems measure ball spin. The amount of rotation is measured by comparing the dot positions on the ball in one frame to the positions they were in the previous frame. The small red dots shown here show the positions of the spin dots in the previous frame. The distance the red dot is from the spin dot is directly proportional to the spin rate and the angle between them corresponds to the side spin. Note that, due to the fact that the amount of rotation when viewing the ball from an overhead camera is limited to around 17 degrees, compared to a side mounted camera that can see a full 360 degrees of rotation, the accuracy using this method is somewhat limited. For those that don't wish to use balls with markings on them, we have two options. One, the system calculates ball sides and backspin from the club data, i.e. club phase, club loft and speed. And two, a high definition camera is used in conjunction with an IR Xeon flash to capture super clear and sharp images of the ball, showing all the details of the balls. This part of the video compares measured ball spin to calculated ball spin. As you can see, there's not much difference between measured and calculated ball spin, at least not in this shot. Using a high definition camera, we will have a clear view of the ball's spin dot pattern, so we can use a dimple match method to measure ball spin. The dimple pattern method takes a sample array of dimple pattern points, known as key points, from two frames of the ball and performs a series of rotation, shift and matching processes to obtain the amount of rotation, i.e. backspin, and in what direction, i.e. sidespin. So there we have it, GSA Golf East Drag methods of ball spin detection explained. Note that all the shots were done using just a small chip shot, primarily in order to show all 32 frames of the shot, but the principle is the same for all other shots, i.e. from small chip shots to full drives. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.